So all in all, there's eight paintings that I brought here. And when Ralph sh sh told me that this would be the space and we would have this room, we chose which paintings would seem to work best in this room. So the bigger paintings that had more complex dynamics of ha happening in terms of space in them. I think the paintings that are in the Arsenale, three of them at least, really are vertical in format or really ref reference somehow the core of a body as well as this fragmented core of a body in space. And so they feel like those three paintings kind of do that in a totem totemic way for in one after another. So you have they're very linear and the installation is very precise. I think here, these paintings are much more complex in terms of space and the photographic image that's underlying them. And in terms of landscape, between aspects of landscape, um, just pure abstraction and in terms of mark making, and then also di the disembodied body parts kind of emerging or coming out at times. And so they, they, they interact, I think, with the other work in the room in a different way than where, whereas the other paintings, I think, would have become that, that dynamic that I wanted in them would have gotten lost maybe in here. The paintings in here, the three of them are made with fo a, fo a photographic image, like a news media photograph that's blurred in Photoshop and then painted with air airbrush to mimic the blur. Um, and using the colors from the photograph, using all the information that's in the photograph. So it becomes this blurred base image that I then work into with mark making, with spray paint, with airbrush, with graphic <laughs> pens, whatever it is. And, um, and this other kind of image grows from that. But the, that's the generally the approach for these. Mo several of these images are based on the Charlottesville Rally to the Right event that was a few years ago in the U.S. Um, and one of the images is, a, is, a, is a, the uh, Muslim march, the kind of reactive, uh, reactive, quick uh, marches against the Muslim ban in the United States, and so there are different images of events, or the California fires, the recent California fires. The images of those were also part of the underpaintings of some of these, as well as I have a couple paintings here that I think are from the European context, and I think that's interesting because it's here in Europe. One is of uh, uh, protesters being um, separated by the police and a body being pull, pulled and carried away, which is of a Spanish protester in Barcelona, and another image of the Grenfell Tower burning. I think like Ralph's show to me seems all about contradictions and living in a time where you can't think of things in a binary way, and you never really can, but I think that feels very clear right now when we're in a moment where politically things are being manipulated or being kind of put out into the world in these very binary points of view. Can you have this happening in American politics and European politics and just globally, these kinds of issues, m complicated realities being distilled to these very binary kind of reactive things, fake news, real news, and all of that stuff. And I think that, to me, what's interesting is you have a lot of work that I think, and way, the way Ralph was even engaged with curating this, or in how he puts this work together, is really about the contradictor, contradictions and being kind of comfortable and negotiating massive contradictions, and how do you do that, and how do you then invent within that space? And so, to me, I, I'm really excited by that type of thinking, and I've, it's been, I've enjoyed the, the artists that I've been here with and working on this.